Tanya, we're learning new details about this young man tonight. We know that he's an honors student. We know he was actively involved in school activities here. Now, parents and students were told his identity during the course of the day. But tonight, we don't know his name because the family has requested that it be kept confidential. Now, of course, police rushed to LaSalle High School shortly after 9 when the young man unexpectedly surprised 22 classmates in a computer lab by taking out a semi-automatic handgun and firing one shot at himself. Parents of the 800 students rushed to the scene as the school went into lockdown mode. That included the parents of the young man who tonight is in critical condition at UC Medical Center. We're not releasing the name of the individual. His parents have requested that. His parents have requested that. He is fighting for his life. And I'm pausing because I hope that everyone respects that. We are not going to release his name. What we will tell you, he was an honors level student, had over 80 hours of community service, highly involved in the school. Not something we would have anticipated. Faculty members met in the school chapel at 1.30 this afternoon to plan out how to resume classes for tomorrow. Counselors and clergy will be on hand, along with extra police presence. Now tonight, canine explosives dogs are going to go through the school just to make sure there are no other weapons. And Sheriff, excuse me, Police Chief Bart West of the Green Township Police Department says he does not expect to find anything, doesn't believe there's anything else like that.